Hello and welcome to my first episode of Make It For Dads. Father's Day is next month and I decided that since we're all in quarantine and on a little bit of a budget, I would show you how to make things with ingredients and supplies that you already have in your home to make gift boxes for dad. The first video today is going to be about making lip balm right here. This is the lip balm that we're going to be making. I chose to put it in these black um, lip balm containers. It's so yummy. Love it. And we're going to be making it today. This is going to, like I said, this is going to be the first video. And did I just drop the lip balm? I did. Don't worry about that. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, of course, being sanitary is most important because you're going to be putting this on your lips. So I'm going to put my gloves on. And right now, what I have, I have this little uh, single burner and I have a pot of water on it because I'm going to be doing the double boiler method to melt my things. For the chapstick, we're going to be using coconut oil. I love coconut oil because it's good for everything. It's good for your lips. It's good for your skin. It's good for your hair. It's good for your teeth. It's good for cooking, it's good for baking, and it has natural antiseptics in it. We're going to be using Butcher's Bay. I buy this um, for $12 at Big Lots. Y'all know I'm all about saving a dollar. And we're going to be putting two teaspoons, or uh, not teaspoons, tablespoons of coconut oil in here, or either 14 grams of coconut oil. So I'm just going to use my little spatula and dig out 14 grams of coconut oil. Okay. And this is just a kitchen scale, y'all. I don't have to be anything fancy. I have a gram scale also that I use for a lotion because it has to be like super accurate. So what we're going to be doing is putting 28 grams total because it's 14 grams in a teaspoon. It's like 14 and a little bit more, but I just even it out and put 14. Not quite. All right, that's 28 grams of coconut oil in there. Okay, we're gonna close this back up. Next thing we're gonna be putting in here is beeswax. For those that don't like using beeswax because it is an animal byproduct, you can also use uh, cocoa butter. But I like using beeswax. Why? Because it's what I have on hand. This is all about creating stuff that you already have on hand. Things that you don't have to actually go out and buy. Okay? You can use the pellets, which is what I have here. I'm going to be using 14 grams or one tablespoon. And I'm going to clear out my scale. I also have the block of beeswax. You can just break that up. Sometimes the block is cheaper than getting the pellets. Because the pellet, somebody already melted it down and made it simple for you to just pour and use. The other one, it takes a little bit extra work because you got to, you know, melt it down or whatever. Okay, the next uh, ingredient that I'm going to be putting in here is going to be a little bit of almond oil. People that have nut allergies and stuff like that, you may not want to use almond oil or the coconut oil there's always uh something you can use that you can use sunflower oil which is another oil that i like to use it's really good for your skin and in place of the coconut oil you can use um you can use shea butter or you can use a uh, vegetable palm if you want to do that it's up to you but this is what i'm choosing to put in here we're going to use 14 grams as y'all notice this is new i gotta take the top off and all you gotta do it's basically, you're kind of using, if you want, you can start out using equal parts of your hard butter and your liquid to get the consistency of a chapstick balm that you want to, that you want to have. Okay. Anybody got any questions so far? Okay. And this right here is vitamin E oil. It's extra. Y'all ain't got to put this in here if y'all don't want to. But it is another uh, antiseptic, so I'm just going to put two grams of that in there. And I'm going to put it on my, my little 
double boiler thing here. We're gonna let this melt down. While we are waiting for that to melt down, I'm gonna show y'all the little contraption that I'm using. I'm just getting some oil off my hand. I got this, it's made by Crafter's Choice. You can put a lot of uh, containers of chapstick in at once. Y'all, y'all don't have to get this. It's called a, a round lip balm tray. I got this from Wholesale Supplies Quest. If you just need to make a few ba uh, balm tubes, do what I did when I first started making this stuff. I used a rubber band, this little black rubber band right here. And then I just took the little tubes and I just put a rubber band around them. You put the rubber band around it, it works just as good as this. It sits up. Once your stuff melts down, I'm going to turn this on high, y'all. Once your stuff melts down, you're going to be able to use this little pipette right here, suck it out, and you're going to put it in here just fine. But when you're making a lot, you can make, get yourself a big rubber band, like an office rubber band from Staples, or you could just take it from your local office if you're still working somewhere. And you can, um... Just do just like I did, put a lot of them together, and boom, set them up, tight, all together. All right, that's just a, a little, little trick that you can do. You can leave this tasteless, and it'll just be like a little Vaseline on a stick that you're putting on your lips. Or you can use peppermint oil, spearmint oil. You can get any kind of flavor oil you want from Michael's or... In the little food section of Walmart, they have uh, these in the little candy aisle because you can use these to make candles. A uh, candy. I'm using spearmint today, but I have some other ones down here. Uh, I also got watermelon and I got butter rum. I think these are the same. I have some other ones in my garage but this is what I have in this little plastic bag but for the sake of being all for one and one for all spearmint or peppermint is good because people chew this kind of gum all the time it is unisex and you can use it you um another thing that I'm going to be adding I'm just going to add a few drops of this another thing I'm going to add is a little uh I can't say this word but it's like sugar oil to <laughs> to make your chapstick taste a little bit sweet it's called saturin oil i hope i'm saying that right i'm probably not saying it right but we're gonna put a few drops of this in there to sweeten it up a bit so if you are going to lick your lips uh it'll it'll be a little bit sweet okay i'm gonna stir this around just a little bit it's milking y'all so like i said um this series i wish i would have did this for mother's day too so today is beer, uh lip balm day tomorrow i'm going to show y'all how to make some beard balm for those that have those scruffy husbands or if they don't even have to have a full beard they can put it on their little goatee the guys that have like the sideburns and just a little bit of this going on up in here it's good for that too it's good for your skin, and it's also good for those that are trying to grow it out and uh, need a little bit of help. It's a thickener. It will thicken the hairs uh, for them. Another thing that we're going to be making is a, a stainless steel coffee cup. Let me show y'all what that looks like. I think I have it over there. I'll be right back. Yeah. So I made this. It says Dad, the man, the myth, the legend. And it's a stainless steel coffee cup, which is why I'm trying to have everything kind of coordinating. It goes together. Um Dad can have this on every morning when he gets ready to go to work, the school, or wherever. My stuff is like really bubbling, y'all. Let me turn it down a little bit. But just think, every time he grabs this, he's going to think of the person that gave it to him. And that's going to be real special. So this is uh, one thing that's going to be going in there. 
I kind of already got the box made. So these are like a little bit of spoiler alert. So I'm also going to show you how to make this candle because I'm just trying to fill in time while this is melting down. So one more thing. This is the candle that we're going to be making. I'm going to show y'all how to do all this. Make it personalized if you, if you can. If you can't, guess what? It don't matter. You can put a little sticker up there if you if you want. Or uh, just print it out on just a regular label. Or you can print it out on just regular printer paper and put you a little saying up there, whatever you want to do with that. And then I also made these um, personalized matchboxes for them. It kind of goes with this. But I'm going to show y'all just how I do all this. And it's got like some little white matches in there. I got some other things that's going to go in the box. But I'm going to spoil everything. I'm going to put the box together at, on the last day. Okay, almost y'all. We uh are waiting for these beeswax pellets. They take a long time, but those are the it's like the glue that holds the lip balm together because you know how you um you buy a lip balm right and you leave it in the car and you come back on because it's summertime and it's done melty. Girl, I know you're mad. But this, putting the beeswax in there, gives it a higher heat uh, tolerance, which is why it's taking this uh, a longer time to melt. And which is why when you take it off the heat, it's going to be um, the first thing that's going to cool off because it needs to be real hot to stay liquid. Okay, so I, it's all melted down, y'all. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my a uh, few drops of my spearmint. Let me put that in there. Just a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit, because I don't want to put too much sugar. I'm going to put a little, oh, y'all, I can smell that real good. I'm going to put a pipe a little bit of this sugar substance in there. We don't want it sweet like candy, but you know how you just, just, just a little taste. Just a little taste. You don't need a whole lot. Because I didn't make a large batch of this. I just made enough to show y'all how to make it on camera. And uh, so the video is not too long. Because y'all know I like to be in the background. I do not like being in the front at all. But I have been led to make this series. And to step out of my comfort zone. So, this is what I came up with making. Alright, y'all. It's done. Okay? So, what you can do, if you feel like you're going to be slow typing it, you can, leave, you can leave this on here. Or you can take it off. I'm going to take it off and just put it on my paper towel right here. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like in the bowl, you know. It is hot, so please be careful. I've been doing this forever, so I barely can feel it. So, I'm just going to take my little thing right here. I'm going to show y'all how to do both of them, so y'all won't think I'm joking. This is how I really did do this when I first started. We're going we're gonna to do one of these first. So, you're just going to take your little pipette. Now, this is what I do suggest. P please buy some of these, or you're going to have to be real. Take your time. Take your time to pour this in there, because the holes are really small. And another tip is to make sure that your chapstick is winded all the way down so that you can fill it up as much as possible. Okay, that's in there. Actually, will you come get a um, close-up of this filling, um, this tube filled up right here? And uh, now that I got that one filled up, I'm going to show y'all that's how I do that. Now I'm gonna just going to go ahead and, and pipe the rest of it in here. I just take my time and just keep going. See, th th this is what this is for. If you put too much, it catches it right there on the top. See that? I spilled a little bit right there. And then you just keep going on to the next one. This is, it's faster. But like I said, if you don't have a business and you're just trying to do something for your family, your friends, this is it. You just use that rubber band method that I showed you and you just keep on going. You feel, feel, feel. 
the whole time. Just keep going. And you just keep filling it up. Now, y'all, you can add color to this if you're doing it for yourself. And I'm going to tell you a cheap way to do the color. Go to the Dollar Tree. Get you a tube of lipstick. Put you a little bit of color off of that. But you need to put it in the melting part when you're, when you're melting it down. Just like your, the rest of the stuff. Then you will have your little tint to your, uh, to your uh, lip balm. But if you want to do it professional way, you use mica colorant, which I have a lot of that. But this is for guys, and they don't need no tint on their lips. If you like that, that's good for you. But I won't make it that way. Okay, I'm just filling these up. Just filling them up. And this is going to take probably about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes for these to solidify. Once they solidify, I'm going to put the tops on them. And then you can add your labels. You don't have to have a label if you don't want to have a label. You know, but because I'm a business, I have to have a label. You don't have to have one. Again, cheap labels is going to be your regular printer paper. Print it out. All right, that's it, y'all. Let's see. How much did that make? That made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That made 15 tubes of, um, of lip balm. Okay, that's a lot of lip balm. Then I just take these little caps here. These are the caps that comes with it. So I, I don't want to cap it now because, you know, it'll leave like a little heat residue. It'll be water drops in there. And you're just going to put that on. And that's it, y'all. That's all I got. I hope y'all enjoyed watching my first live on my... <laughs> my first live for my Make It For Dad series. Um, that's it. If y'all have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll go back after I'm done cleaning this up and I will answer the questions that you have. All right, y'all. Bye.